Hey guys, over here, I think this is the third time I tried to make the same video. Dog keeps barking and noise keeps popping up everywhere. So, I'm gonna try to make it uh, for a third time. I think this is take number three, whatever. Here we go. Today, this week, we you read about fungus, okay? What I want to point out is uh, several facts about fungus because you have a lot of information there. I don't want you to keep the extra information I just need you to keep what's important okay guys so here we go I'm gonna talk about fungi fungi is in plural fungus is in singular okay guys keep that in mind so fungus or fungi is a eukaryote it's a kingdom and they reproduce mostly by spores okay you know a spore is a little tiny capsule okay we have spoken about spores before by the way next week we're gonna start talking about plants in a different way okay and we're gonna view things este, more into detail so here we go back to fungus the same actually fungus produce spores and they absorb nutrients therefore they are consumers okay guys they don't make their own food here we go they don't move so they get their food by secreting digestive juices onto the food source and then they absorb it if i would use a nasty example but yet very interesting they spit on their food before they actually eat it because the secretion is what helps them soften the the nutrients and absorb it okay soften the the matter second thing they are consumers but yet many fungi are decomposers so that means they get their food from dead matter something that's dead and that's good actually decomposers are very necessary decomposers help out return a lot of nutrients to the soil and and it allows um other organisms to absorb nutrients also so decomposers are important no matter how nasty they are or they look like eventually what makes the cell of a fungi special the cell of a fungi is special because it, it contains something called chitin which strengthens the cell wall it's a component that makes the cell wall stronger okay guys chitin and some are single celled we're talking about the fungus some some fungus are single celled and some are multicellular the ones that are multicellular or have many cells form chains okay these chains are called filaments and i will compare them to strings it has a lot of strings underneath it okay these strings are called hyphae. Hyphae is plural, hyphae is singular, okay guys? Most of the fungus is underground. You already answered the parts of the fungus and you mentioned the cap, the gills, the stalk, what would be kind of the trunk, but obviously fungus size and not having a bark and mycelium. Here we go. The hypha is the bundle of mycelium underneath the soil the part that we don't see okay guys and the mycelium okay is all tangled up remember hypha are filaments and all of that bundle of filaments is called mycelium keep that in mind okay so there are three light strands i'm reading straight from page 100 called hypha hyphae make up the body of this mushroom most of the hyphae is underground okay you're not gonna be able to see it i hope to put a lot of pictures this week of the parts of fungus okay so i hope that by tomorrow when you get to see this video you get to see also pictures of different kind of fungus and hyphae and stuff like that okay i really hope to find them so here we go fungus are classified guys depending on two things based on their body shape and based on the way they reproduce okay so here we go remember in this case page 101 says that they can reproduce two ways asexually and sexually this means asexually is like uh, the plant makes a clone of itself boom and it has uh, enough an 
offspring, guys, I'm sorry, genetically identical to a parent. In sexual reproduction, op uh, offspring are genetically unique. This means that in sexually in sexual reproduction, you need two special cells that are gonna join to make a unique organism. Okay, it's not like in a sexual that its DNA is exactly as its parents. Okay, remember in sexual reproduction, you have two parts, two cells that join together, and they make something some more special, just like you. Here we go. Here we, uh, third thing. Page 102 says, and I'm reading straight from the book, fungi are classified based on their shape and the way they reproduce. Many species of fungi fit into three main groups. These are the saiga fungi, the sac fungi, and the club fungi. Okay, guys? Here we go. The saiga fungi, guys, eh, are named for sexual reproduction structures produce zygotes inside a tough capsule. Okay, guys? Most of the fungi in this group live in soil and are what? Decomposers. Okay? That came straight from the book. Okay, guys? Este... One example the book gives us is the mold in bread, which is very nasty, but quite interesting if we're talking science. Obviously, the bread mold is a fuzzy example of a zygote fungus, okay, guys? Um, the book also states that this is a sexual state of the zygote fungus life cycle. Some molds also have a stage during which they reproduce sexually, okay, guys? So, some molds are special, and they can be asexual, but some can be uh, reproduced sexually, okay, guys? Um, here it says that psychofungi can cause problems for people, okay? And that means because, obviously, you can see the example of the bread, and the example of the bread, um, you don't want mold in your bread, so you don't want fungus in your bread. You will just want to eat it in peace. Here we go. We have as a second group uh, the sac fungi. The sac fungi are the largest group of fungi. Uh, they include yeast, and we use yeast, guys, to make bread and a lot of stuff and bakery. And anything that has to do with bakery and baking, you use yeast, okay? Yeast has its pros and its cons. If you have too much in your body, it can cause a lot of problems. We can talk about that in the next time. And I can get you some videos also. So here we go. Sac fungi reproduce asexually and sexually. Sexually reproduce spores developed within a microscopic sac that then opens to release the spores, okay? Este... Next little thing is if they reproduce asexually, they reproduce by budding, which means making this baby fungus beside it. Of course, when a new cell pinches off from an existing cell, so it kind of does this this is a cell poof, it pinches off okay it goes away and it produce this is called budding okay guys and it produces a new cell under certain condition conditions yeast will reproduce sexually and form spores in sacs okay yeast are used to make bread and alcohol other sac fungi make antibiotics and vitamins okay guys so that's very important I like the picture that they have there. It's called morals are an edible type of sac fungus that grows at the base of trees. Actually, the truth is you should not touch and you should not eat any kind of fungus, okay? And you're going to say, Missy, but I eat mushrooms. Yeah, but specialists on these can tell which kind of mushrooms are the one you can eat. If not, you can cause a lot of problems if you ingest them. So be careful with that. Keep that in mind. And last one is the club fungi. And here I'm going to read. It says mushrooms, bracket fungi, puffballs, smuts, and rust are club fungi. And I don't have a lot of pictures for that. I will have to sit down and put more pictures so you can see which kind of fungus they are. Okay. So that's going to be my homework.
so you can get those pictures although you can always pitch in to Google and check um, and check a uh, pictures of what the book is always telling you okay guys that's a very nice thing to do to complement whatever you are learning uh, this a club fungi are named for microscopic structures in which the spores develop only the spore producing part of a club fungus is visible okay that means that the part that makes the the seeds which are not seeds they were produced by spores remember that that produces the spores is the part that you can see okay guys um these structures usually grow at the edges of the mycelium a fungal mycelium can be incredibly large one of the world's largest living organism is a honey mushroom in Oregon whose mycelium spans almost nine kilometers oh my god that's a lot okay guys here we go not everything is negative in in fungus so here the book states something about a partnership this means sometimes fungus join other things or other organisms in order to work out and i'm gonna read it here it says fungi from two very important partnerships Fung some fungi grow in or in the roots of plants and this is good because it helps the plant and i'm gonna read it that says these plants provide nutrients to the fungus and return the fungus usually helps the root absorb minerals okay so the fact that some um fungus are at the base of some plants is a good thing not all of them are good but some of them are good okay some some fungus can cause a lot of problems but some um fungus